Ohayo! My name is Minomitoku and welcome to Legend of Legaya part 19. I'm still in Seoul Tower and yeah, it has been a long time since I've played this last time. It must be over a week, I guess. Well, because I injured my hand. It should be fine right now, well, at least for holding a controller. I, but I still can't touch really like here because it still does hurt a little. But at least I can touch it, more or less, and I can use it to play games. Yes! So I'm gonna continue where I left off. I think we got the password from the Emperor last time, right? So we can enter Buma and maybe, what was his name, Dr. Usha's laboratory? Uh, Zora's floating castle? Okay, nice cuts in there. Who are those guys? Well, well, it looks like the kids revived the Genesis Tree of Sol. Not bad. The Delilahs. Okay, that's, that's the middle one. Oh, aren't these are the three mysterious people I have encountered, right? When you want that blue-headed brat dad, just say the word, Sora, and he's dead. But who is Sora? I can't see the person. Haha, <laughs> you're quite confident, but leave them be. He looks like a, like a vampire. Well, assuming it's a he. While they're wandering around, Koro will. Don't worry about Koro, leave him to the Delilah's family. Who's Koro? <laughs> then go, I'm counting on you. Yes, ma'am. Oh, it is a ma'am. But she. Songi is there too? What's Songi doing there? Well, how else would he have gotten the Simsiru? So, okay. Let's look. I will meet you up here, I guess, again. I think I reached the town here. Let's take a look then. Is this Buma? I think the people said that Buma was to the northeast. Yes, it is Buma. What's in here? What's in here? Van, Kala, it's a Genesis tree over there. Really? Where? Huh? I'm going there. I'm going ahead to the Genesis tree. That, is it one? This looks like more like three. Whoa! But it looks weird. It's not green. Man! Kala! The Genesis tree! Come look at the Genesis tree! Oh, it's terrible! It's frozen stiff! It's frozen! Oh no! Well, yep, there's at least two of them. Oh no! Man! The Genesis tree is frozen! It's covered in ice and snow! Uh, well... From your breath and from just the surroundings, I'm gonna say it's pretty cold there. So it's no wonder Genesis trees are frozen. Terra, Terra, will everything be alright? Won't the Genesis tree wake up? Just silence. I never imagined that something like this would happen to the Genesis tree. We still have to try. We're going to focus our energy. Come over here. Gala, let's give it a try. Okay. And Meta speaking. Ready one? Let's go join them. Yep. Just one at a time then. Focus your thoughts. Well, this would be too easy just to walk in, into a town and then awaken the Genesis tree. Wasn't it? Visualize the revived Genesis tree. It's getting greenish. Concentrate harder, harder. It's getting greener, but this would be too easy. Nah, will it work? Nah, it's no good. If we try any harder, we may damage the Genesis tree. Ah, oh, crap. 
Oh crap. This is sad. No! Yada! No, we can't give up. We can't. I'll do it. I'll wake up the Genesis tree. Noah, you can't. You'll damage it. Noah, stop acting like a child. <laughs> oh, wait, that's it. A Raster Egg. This is a Genesis tree, so it should have a Raster Egg. Yep. Well, there's three of them. Noah's right. Osma, can we at least get a Raster Egg? Yeah? Well, actually, it looks like there are no Raster Eggs here. What? It looks like all the raster eggs have been taken from every Genesis tree. How? And what? Wait, to make the generators? The mist generators. The, the, our raster eggs still won't talk about it, but I'm pretty sure that those are raster eggs. Kara, she took them. She took the raster eggs. Well, she has one, yes. I'm sure of it because she had eggs. She just had one. One. Multiple? I see. It's possible. I don't know for sure, but it's possible. Yep, Gala. You're the, you're the one with reason here. Can't we melt the ice? If we could, we could revive the Genesis tree. Hmm. How do you melt that ice around a living being? There's only one thing I can say for certain. And that is? And that is? Dawdling around here isn't going to get us anywhere. Probably yes. No one. Let's look for other leads. Hoi. And he just takes off. Bye, Gala. Gala, you sure do talk big. Well, he at least has some reasoning and stuff going on, unlike you, Noah. Well, but you, you didn't grow up, grow up like Gala did, so, and you're probably younger than Gala. So it's okay acting like a child. Just you wait. I promise that we'll figure out something. Hoi. Hoi. Well, I mean, how, how can a Genesis tree be frozen? I'm not sure about that because even the Rasterus were amazed by that. Also, what's what's behind there? What's that? What's behind there? Well, it seems everything is frozen here because the trees are also white. Oh, and before I forget to mention it, I got the Traveler's Kit, I think it was called. Oh, hi there, Floating Castle, from the Carissa Station, because I have actually some money right now. Well, I could get more Nivora Revin. What's in here? What's a huge block of ice. It's far too big and heavy to move. Am I even supposed to be in here? I don't think so. Nope, we first have to melt the ice, I guess. Okay. Never mind then. Never mind. Well, at least I can return to Seoul at any time and make more money. Because I actually, yeah, I can do the, what was it called? Baka Fighter. It's just been too long since I last played it. So I'm just going to explore the map real quick. And it seems there's an auto block in, of ice here, so the only place I have to go is there, with the tower. And then there. So let's look, take a look at the tower first. Okay, I finally made it to the tower. So I actually believe that this should be Dr. Osha's laboratory or something. Yep, research center, there we go. Okay, I know that I can get in there, but is there anything around here except encounters? That's a freed. Please, someone get it. 
Yes! Noah, nice! Finally, I got a freed! On the first try! And I don't know, it re it reminds me kind of of... Uh, what is it called? Cerberus? And maybe mixture between Cerberus and Ifrit from Final Fantasy VIII. And maybe somehow of a Pokemon? I don't know. Let's take a look in here. Anyway, a sign. If you have business here, speak into the wise tube. Okay, I guess it's right next to it, but I'm still looking for tre treasure chests, which apparently there is none. Okay, so speak. Doctor! Doctor Usha! Is Doctor Usha there? Who is it? It's me, Noah! I came to see you, Doctor! <laughs> Noah? I don't know any Noah! <laughs> we were on a journey to wipe the mist from the face of the earth. We came seeking knowledge, Doctor Usha. Please let us in. Well... You may just be clever, Seru. You say you want to destroy the mist. If you're telling the truth, you must know the password from someone in Seoul. Well, let me hear the password. Uh, oh wait, that's the password from the emperor. I've noted it here, okay. X, X, triangle, circle, and this one. Yes, that's it. So you are the heroes. You're finally here. Just wait a moment. I'll send down the elevator, so wait a moment. So well, this was easy. This was easy. That'll take us up to Dr. Usha. Yep, apparently yes. So let's get in that elevator and get up there. Ooh. This is quite a high tower. Mm. Uh, is this Dr. Usha? The doctor built this laboratory in a hurry ten years ago when he learned about the floating castle. Well, uh, there's a treasure chest. Healing berry. Thank you. Oh, there's an item shop up here. Hi there. That's great. I guess the ten years I spent hiding from the mist were worth it. Hey, customers. The first in a long time. Now let's see. Welcome. If you want tools, this is the place. What can I get for you? What do you have? An ivory book. Okay, let's get two more of those. Bronze book. Bad luck bell. Increases no encounter rate is already too high. Phoenix, I have ten of those. Okay. I don't think I need anything else. No, 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 I don't need anything else. Thank you. Yes, I will come again. Would you like something healthy and satisfying to eat? Uh, yes, please. What do you have? Please eat all you want. Yes, thanks. You seem very refreshed. Thank you. So this is just... The lower thing, huh? What's outside? Oh, there's more. Me, I'm collecting samples of the outside mist. So they're still researching. We're watching the floating castle and shifts. If we could destroy the floating castle, we could free Curse the Kingdom of the Mist. Yep. Mm, probably yes. What do you have to say? We all knew that brave heroes like you would come to save us someday. Yep. Mrs. Usha, hello. Well, uh, you're hiding behind that lamp. Sorry. You're the first strangers I've seen in 10 years. I'm so happy. Nice to meet you all. The doctor awaits you in the laboratory up there. Go pay him a visit right away. Yep, will do after I speak to this guy here. It, it's spicy. Spicy but good. Oh, it's really good. Well, if you say so. Okay, here we are. Is this Dr. Osha? Where's Dr. Osha? Okay, just for safety reasons I'm gonna save here. So what we've learned from a couple episodes ago. 
always safe when you get the chance. You know that woman downstairs? Well, she's actually Dr. Osa's wife. Well, I've only spoke to her now. I've never seen her before. Oh, so there are three brave heroes. So that's why it was so heavy. Uh, you were <laughs> operating the elevator. So you're the heroes who are going to save us from the mist. We're counting on you. Thank you. So did you have a smooth ride on the elevator? Yes, we had. I'm glad. Just hearing that makes it all worthwhile. Well, I guess you haven't used the elevator in like, I don't know, 10 years? I haven't operated the elevator in such a long time. My words there. It's a naturalist and an alchemist, versed in both ancient and modern knowledge and science. Ooh, that's nice. Is there anything in this cabinet? Magic fruit, thank you. Now let's get upstairs one more time and see. We have been working for the doctor for 10 years now. Uh, well, there's probably no other way around it. Eh? I mean, the mist has been here for 10 years, so there is no point in getting away. Dr. Osha is a great man, but he's a little long-winded. Uh, okay, I think the white or grey-haired man is Dr. Osha. Dr. Osha has been studying the mist for, for some time, but has made little progress. So now we come and we just explode his whole laboratory or what? Also, do you have white eyes? Or are these glasses? Ah, you're here! I was waiting for you! You are the brave heroes, are you not? Um, probably yes, but I, won't, I don't want to boast. All three of us, of us hate the mist and we're going to destroy it by reviving the Genesis trees. Yep. I hate the mist too! Yeah. Oh ho ho! I knew it. So those are Russell on your arms, right? Yep. Doctor, you know about Russell? Of course, of course. But who are you? Where do you come from? Why don't we start with that question? I am, um, well, there was this wolf and um, I was about to die and um, so then this Russell and the Genesis tree, uh, yeah, that's it. Then I... Calm down, young lady. We have plenty of time. Try to speak more slowly. Yeah, Noah. Well, Noah and Kala each told Dr. Osha of their fateful adventures. Yay! Destruction of Rimalm's Wall, Tyra and Noah, their fateful meeting at Mount Rikuroa, Byron, Songi and Kala, the Sky Gardens of Jeremy, the mystery of Octum, the tragedy of Hari the Prophet, the real wine windless city of Vidna, the Cerub rites of Ratayu, the swift flying train, Gaza the swordmaster of Saul, and the ice-covered town in Buma. Wow, we did come a long way, holy cow. The mist and the Genesis trees, the Genesis trees and Raseru. It was an amazing tale. I guess it was. In turn, the three spoke. It was morning by the time they finished their tale. Holy cow, that was a long story. I'm amazed, truly amazed. What a dreadful ordeal you have undergone for such a young age. Overcoming such adversity to bring peace to the world. How noble. You are indeed the heroes. I will do whatever I can to help you. Well, thank you, Dr. Osha. My knowledge is at your disposal. Of course, destroying the floating castle should completely eliminate the mist from Caristo. But the floating castle can only be reached by air. To revive a Genesis tree is key. There is a Genesis tree in Buma, but it is covered in ice. Yeah, but I thought they were free. Why are they talking about only one all the time? It is impossible to revive it in that state. However, however, the ice can be melted. There's a Seru in Nivora Ravin to the north that breathes cold air. Okay, its name is Koru. It was once a peaceful Seru, but the mist has made it savage. Koru. Okay, you're just taking the Japanese word for. Um, 
freezing. I guess you would translate it. Yeah, more or less freezing. And just gave it the name. Nice. The only thing to do is to destroy that Seru. Okay, so how, but how would he guess, get past uh, this uh, Ravin thing? I mean, I looked at it, there was a huge block of ice there. Wow, that's easy. Doctor, do it for us. Hurry. I don't think the doctor can do that. <laughs> no, calm down. Koro has been storing heat in his body for many years and is extremely dangerous. Wait, why would it, why would it store heat? when it breathes out cold air. Make a wrong move and kaboom! Koro will explode and destroy you all. With the time space bomb, we could trigger a thermal reversal and destroy him neatly. But we have no fire droplets with which to fabricate a time space bomb. Wait a second. Do you want to disrupt time and space? What the heck? You crazy? Fire droplets? I'll go get them! Doctor, where can we find fire droplets? In Urumais, an ancient book describing how to build a time space bomb says, He who would seek the fire droplet must first dream in the home of the Seru. The dream will summon Teague, who will bring the fire droplet. I don't know who Teague is, but I do know that the home of the Seru is Urumais. I think Teague is a god or goddess in this world and if you have a dream there the teak will bring the fire droplets okay it could be easy or difficult but this is the only way my wife has the key to the door to Urumais. you can get it from her why does she have the key what is going on man gala let's go to Urumais. yay Urumais, dreams, teak, fire droplets, nothing but riddles. Yep, nothing but riddles, nothing but riddles. Holy cow. So, let's speak to the wife then. Uh, oh, we'll trigger an event like this. Good. Oh, it looks like you're all going somewhere. I heard you talking to the doctor through that speaking tube over there. You could hear everything. Oh my gosh. So every everyone in here knows our, knows our story now. <laughs> Crap. Now I may be a worry ward, but I'm a little uneasy about this. Here are some questions to see if you properly understood everything. Answer all of them correctly and I'll give you a ruins key as a prize. What's up with those pop quizzes all the time? Hey, first question. Now, where is the home of the Saru? Uru Danis? Uru Swiss? <laughs> Uru Weiss? What? Oh crap, was it written with, a, with an I or with a Y? I think this one. Yay! Pretty good. Okay, next question. What are you going to do in Uru Weiss? Fight Songi? Mm, that may be two dream dreams awaken the Genesis tree overthrow the leader i think it was about dreams right you're pretty smart that has nothing to do with, with smartness it has to do with so short memory somewhere up in here in the brain third question let's get to the point what are you going to get in Urumais? a rasuru a time space bomb swims swim swords for adults how about that the fire droplet just one? I, I, I thought he needed multiple ones, at least two, because he spoke of fire droplets, not a fire droplet. <sighs> Gosh, almost there. Okay, last question. Once you have it, where do you take the fire droplet? Sol, Usha, Researcher, Nivora, Raven, Buma. I think I will bring it here, because someone needs to like make a bomb. You certainly are heroes and smart. You got every question right. What? Why? Why would you ask me those questions? Here's your prize. Thank you. It's my husband's collection. It may have some connection to Uromais. 
But look, I know you'll be able to bring back the fire droplet. Wait, if you overheard everything, you would say here's the key to Uromais. And not, well, here's some ruined key, it might have a connection to Uromais. What? Okay. Either way, I'm he I'm fully healed, let's go down here. But, well, I've been recording for a long time now, so I guess this does it for this episode. Uh, I'm happy that I got here, so uh, I can't trigger the map here. Come on. Oh, the floating castle. Okay. The floating castle is right in front of me right now. So I guess this is Urumais and there's some, what's, is it the castle there? But well, in the next episode we will definitely go to Urumais and dream some dreams and bring back some fire droplets to destroy the ice in here and defeat Koru. I'm a little bit worried about the time space bomb though because it may or may not disrupt time and space but well we will see what happens if we get that bomb and activate it actually so thanks everybody for watching this episode of legend of legaia i will see you in the next video until then stay true to yourselves Us.